Those vegan guys. Oh, thank you. Hello, my loves. I'm Paul. I'm Jason. And together we are Those, Those Vegan, vegan Guys. guys. Uh, we realised we haven't done like a, a proper uh, main shopping vlog for, uh, well, since January. Probably. Like, like a supermarket shopping vlog. We smashed a load of shopping vlogs out for Veganuary, oh, obviously. So and many. then at the end of Veganuary, what we did say to our wonderful subscribers, mm. you, right there, we said, we'll check back in with a lot of these supermarkets in the not-too-distant future yeah. and find out whether they've still got stuff in, if they've got any new stuff in. We waited, though, with Sainsbury's because they've been having a bit of a shift round. They've had a zhuzh. They have had a zhuzh. Uh, but today, we need some bits. It's Friday, the 25th Fifth of, March. of March, 2022. Uh, we needed some bits anyway, and I said to Jay, why don't we do a shopping vlog? So here we are. And doing a shopping vlog. They've not just done a, had a zhuzh. They've also got new fridges and freezers with fancy lighting. They've, they've made the aisles wider. So we can't say that this is the same for all Sainsbury's <laughs> across England, but our local Sainsbury's, uh, there's been quite quite the update. Bet they still haven't got those bleeding plant pioneers croissants in for us, though. If they've not got the plant pioneers croissants, I will, with oh, some yes. editing uh, tomfoolery, I will uh, try to make them magically appear on the shelf in the supermarket so that if somebody from Sainsbury's watches this vlog, they might take note and uh, and order them in. That'd be nice. Anyway, let's go in. Uh, let's go and have a look what our local Sainsbury's and hopefully yours has in store for vegans. Come on. I suppose I'd have a little bit of foam in my car film, nothing can I? Oh. Now, if any of you need us to show you around the fruit and veg section, we're gonna to have to have words. We don't normally show these sections because you all know where the fruit and veg section is in your own supermarket. And they do, thankfully, here in... Ooh, call them seeds as well. Look at that. One might say a plethora <laughs> of seeds. That's pretty good, that, isn't it? Loads of them. Uh, so, yeah, we don't normally show you the fruit and veg section but it is quite fabulous here. They've got lots of organic veg as well as just standard. Uh, so we're gonna grab a few bits. So unfortunately in our Sainsbury's, they have moved the free from dairy section for some reason onto the end of the meat aisle. Um, but, you know, it's good to see that this is here. Oh, look at them on offer, Jay, two pound. Nice. Free from cheesecakes, those good lemon ones are stunning. That's not new, they've just changed the packaging, haven't they? Oh, they have changed the packaging for the Greek style cheese, which is £2.25. And we highly recommend this, it's a really, really good cheese, isn't it? Yeah. Um, these little chocolate pots, you can see the prices, they're gorgeous, they're very, very small, but it's a really intense chocolate pot. And they've got all the usual, you know, Applewood, Violife, Vitalite, Sainsbury's own brand. Uh, they've got the Itchester, the Vitalite block. I think that's it. Yeah, and the rest. Yeah, some of some of the stuff is just gluten free and not necessarily vegan. Oh, that is vegan. Just, just and, don't bother. I know, that. but some people like it. We don't. I know. We don't like these, but for those of you that do. Uh, £5.25 five pound twenty-five for a sourdough the smoky, char grilled peppers, sautéed mushrooms, creamy mozzarella, and baby spinach. Nice. Right, onward. Uh, it's on here, isn't it? The where they've moved everything to. So this is our in our local. This is our kind of. Uh, vegan section, meat free um, and very good we've got uh, ooh, Cauldron Originals 175 I'll get one of them I'll try and get one that's not sellotape to the box 
175. It's all right, isn't it? Very good. A uh, whole range of um, of tofu's. Actually, the Sainsbury's uh, super firm tofu for 170, 220 for the smoked is actually really good if you fancy having a go. I'm not keen on these blocks of tempeh though. That's a tiny block for £2.60. You can get like three times the size of that at Wing Yip for uh, about um, 2 50 I think. So I've got what the clock. Lots of Sainsbury's own stuff. It's a bit decimated at the moment, but you know. Um, unfortunately, we do not recommend these. They've got a bit of a slimy texture. So until it says new recipe, um, we personally would stick to the other ones. However, their own snack, no pork pies, are gorgeous. The 250, but they're absolutely gorgeous. Straight out of the packet or in the air frying. They yeah, we've had rare. both, haven't we? Yeah, really good. Uh, and then we've got Richmond bacon and sausages and burgers all on one shelf. £2, 225 pounds 250 And then... Oh! No duck spring rolls with no price. Um, should be 225 down to 149 yellow stickered. <laughs> I kind of want to get them, but it's just because it's yellow stickered. I know, I know. We've got to get out of that habit, haven't we? I know. Um, so, yeah, you know, there's lots of stuff. These, oh, we haven't tried them ones yet, Jay. Uh, I think it's new. No, nah, there you go, that's why. Uh, we have tried these, and they are gorgeous. Aren't they, Bromers? Yeah. So, 27th of March is tomorrow, though. I'll get one of them. For in a few days time. Okay. Oh and they've got a lot of Evira stuff and all you know mints and shawarma and Greek and plant bacon and burger and yeah so that's that section in our in our particular Sainsbury's and it's uh, it's pretty good you've got to keep your eye out in Sainsbury's for stuff because it's like for example this char-grilled uh, vegetable sauce is, according to Jason, oh yeah, I can see it, clearly marked vegan, £1.60, as is the simple Arabiata sauce. Uh, not the kind of things I buy because I make my own, but £1.60 for a ready-made sauce for a lovely pasta. You can't grumble, can you? And where's that garlic bread, Jess? It's right here, funnily enough. It's on offer. £1.50, usually £1.80. Oh. These are really lovely. They're on offer for 150 at the moment, normally 180, like Jay just said. Clearly marked vegan. Um, whack them in the air fryer for 10 15 minutes. Perfect with spaghetti and meatballs. Like, absolutely perfect. First of April, so not for us at the moment, we don't need any. It'd be rude to oh, just not mention. Yeah. Whilst it's if, if you like a bit of spice, and trust us when we say, it does actually have a bit of spice, doesn't it, Jason? It does. This pizza, Plant Pioneer's Spicy No Meat Pizza, is gorgeous and it's three quids. Three quids. Right, onward. Also, on the actual, like, dairy cheese aisle, uh, you will find, in ours at least, the new plant based Bosan, uh, which is three pounds, and the Nourish Plant based alternative to camembert that everyone's uh, been raving about. This one we've never tried. Um, that we've tried and we're not massively keen but that's because we've kind of got used to Sainsbury's own. When we fancy a cream cheese uh, they do a garlic and herb cream cheese and it's gorgeous but £3.50 and £3 on the dairy aisle. Look at these as well. They've got a whole range of soups in little pots uh, 125 tomato and basil, clearly marked vegan. Uh, Thai inspired pea courgette and mint. That sounds pretty gorgeous, it does, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. That's 180. And carrot and butternut squash with ginger and turmeric. That is a real health kick, right there. That's 180. 
peas as well. Um, oh yeah, Indian lentil spinach dal soup, two pound. Lovely, and then they've even got two up here uh, with the special ones. Taste the difference. Masala spiced cauliflower soup, two seventy five. Where was the other one, Jay? Underneath them. Ah, thank you. And then sweet potato, coconut, and chili soup, clearly marked vegan, two seventy five. Not bad. And if you like hummus, but you can't be bothered making your own. Almost all of them in Sainsbury's are clearly marked vegan. They're usually around the £1.10 mark. So roasted red pepper, peri peri, caramelised onion, uh, classic, lots of different kinds of hummuses and they also sell the holy moly guacamole, uh, which is now, didn't used to be, but it's now clearly marked vegan. And that's £2. Another little treat, should you fancy, for £2. Plant Pioneer's two tiramisu desserts. Give you a peek at the side so you can see what you're getting. Uh, they're actually really, really good. Uh, Jason and I have had them a couple of times now. Uh, so should you fancy, two quid. Again, just to show you, in, like in some places, there isn't a dedicated vegan section. So here, with all the cream, you will find Alpro Single, cream for £1.10 and Elmley 100% plant uh, that you can actually whip because that's like the double alternative. Clearly marked vegan, £1.25 and um, then of course uh, all of the pastries. Sainsbury's much like Just Roll, um, their, pa their pastries are clearly marked vegan and that's puff pastry and short crust pastry we've used them both and they're great oh to let you know as well it's the same with the kind of butter as it is with um the cream it's just it's, it's just in here mixed in with um you know dairy butters but there's the new via vio spread and the new vio block and then there's also uh mum and dad brom's favorite <laughs> Uh, the vegan block nature leaf two pound. This is basically best butter. Yeah. And uh, the spreadable tub for one ninety five. Oh, and then an even bigger, massive tub, palm oil free. Marvelous. And then they've got the flora plant butters and the flora plant spreadable. Sainsbury's own um, plant pioneers slightly salted spread and a slightly salted block and then all your classics uh, Vitalite, Pure and uh, some floras down there can't see, I can't believe it's not butter in here uh, and that's now vegan as I pointed out in a very recent vlog at Iceland which I'll link up there right now right, onward nearly left then without showing you the yoghurts so they do have Alpro fruit yogurts, 190 packs of four. And they've got Alpro Greek style, coconut collaborative, uh, Oikos dairy free, uh, Alpro plain. A really good selection, actually, of um, non dairy yogurts. Coco yogurt, two pound, which is lovely. Are they? No. no. I had to take a second though as well, just to appreciate because I don't think it necessarily comes across on camera the new fridges with the light of this fabulous and also the width of the aisles now You love it don't you? I really do Run towards me like a drama queen uh, I hated that <laughs> <laughs> So in our uh, chilled milk section here which is uh, mostly plant based they've even got the uh, Huel £3.50 um, complete meals vanilla and chocolate uh, they've got the vegan dairy free Califia um, £2.50 almond coffees a mocha and an XX espresso chilled Look. jarred milk 
Ole, or Barista, of course. Uh, Plenish Coco, which is mine and Jason's regular milk. Classic. Alpro Soya and Chocolate, Alpro Almond. Hazelnut, Soya Light. A huge selection of uh, chilled drinks. So that's pretty good, and we've not even hit the long life milk section yet. You can find some bits on the free from aisle, but you've got to be careful because sometimes it'll sell like gluten free but then contain egg, you know, things like that. However, they do seem to have a nice selection for those of you that are gluten free but want to bake. Uh, they've got these free flowers here. Um, so they've got a self-raising white, a plain white, a rice flower. You know all bits. <laughs> Sainsbury's own vegan mayo is on the free from aisle, of course. £1.50. They've got some um, gluten-free and vegan gravies. Uh, they've got one for beef and one for chicken. £1.80 and a vegetable one. They're vegan and gluten-free. Um, so there are bits. We're not going to spend ages on here because Jason and I are not gluten free. Uh -huh. um, and it is a little bit hit and miss, isn't it? It is. Certainly here at our store. But it's definitely worth having a look for those of you that, that are gluten free on the free from aisle. Spotted this, so I've got to show you before we leave this aisle. Simply green, easy mix bean bake, gluten free and vegan. Uh, it's on the free from aisle and it's £2.50. I ain't got no scumbag to pizza bread to that. Alright. I'll have to find a price online. Oh, come on, Sesbury, sort yourselves out. Goodness me. Anyway. Anywhere. It's there, Luke. 180 grams, and the price is this amount here. <laughs> uh, also, on free from aisle, just wanted to point it out before we left here, left the aisle. Um, we've got quite a lot of the vegan chocolates on here, a lot of no more. Uh, Rhythm 108 and such and a lot of the um, bars that you can buy that you know not all vegan but some of them are and if they are they will definitely say we are vegan oh what's that down there v that's vegan Jay and uh, gluten free you've been uh, going on about stuff like this haven't 40 you? flapjack slices two pound yeah. oh they're not vegan, are they? Vegetarian. These are though, I've not seen these before. These are both vegan. Are they? Chocker block, crunch and crisp, toffee, chocolate top flapjacks, mini bites, £2.50. Cool. Vegan Easter eggs, well, chock bunny. Gluten free, milk free, clearly marked vegan. And of course, they've got uh, no more um, Easter eggs as well. What's that one, Jason? Uh, buttermilk. Uh, plant powered zingy orange crisp chocky egg is that buttons. vegan as well well it says you guess is what you gotta be careful of just because it says plant powered that doesn't necessarily mean it's vegan dairy free plant powered this side I think but not clearly marked vegan how annoying sometimes just on principle I'm like meh nah. We won't get you then. It's just a marketing thing. Oh, we'll use plant-based because it's less offensive. Easter. It's coming. Doesn't have to contain any cruelty. Never did. On the cake aisle, they've got these uh, ogs. Are these all, Jason? Are these all vegan? The ogs. That's a good question. That's a good question. Cakes. Yeah, that's vegan. Yeah. Victoria sponge little cakes. The chocolate fudge ones are as well. I think they all are to be fair. But it's worth just double checking. Yeah. yeah. So they're all vegan, but honestly to us they're a bit expensive, £3.75. For I mean you get like four in there. However, Sainsbury's have brought their own little cupcakes out. Two little vegan birthday cake cupcakes. Jason and I have had them. They're only £1.50. And they're actually pretty damn good. I can't even tell you how long Jason and I have, have, have had this bread. But it's a long time, isn't it, Jay? Yes. Um, it's the multi-seed soft wholemeal farmhouse. It's £1.20. It's clearly marked vegan. 
upside down, always has been. Uh, and it's just a really good loaf. Um, but you'll find a lot of Sainsbury's own style, uh, own breads are clearly marked vegan. Um, so just have a quick, a quick look. And uh, you know, if you prefer white bread, you'll find one, should you want one. Well, we've looked and uh, it would be lovely if we could just see some of the new plant pies croissants on a shelf where there are, there are these huge gaps. If only. Ah. Sainsbury's own wraps are pretty good as well and they're all clearly marked vegan. Always. And they're always a pound. White, wholemeal, sweet chilli. Um, are there any more Sainsbury's own type ones? I don't think so. Uh, but they've also got some fantastic pita breads in here. Uh, we always get Sainsbury's own pita breads. Here they are. They're not marked vegan, but they are by ingredient. Six wholemeal pitas, 45p. We've only spotted these recently in our Sainsbury's, but it seems a hell of a lot of them are marked uh, as uh, vegan. Example, uh, they're all 75p. Are they all 75p? At yeah? the moment, yeah. Oh, some of them are 50p. Yeah, yeah. Um, but for, look, Italian inspired chicken, vegan. So a nice bit of corn, and there's loads of different ones, loads of different flavours, and and things and then when you get right to the bottom ah oh, look little plant pioneers cheese sauce 50p new marvellous i bet that's not vegan i bet that's veggie yeah vegetarian so you've, you've still got to check them but you will find that a lot of them do say vegan on the back Well, there's a whole plethora, an actual plethora. If you've ever wondered what rice we have, if you watch our meals vlogs, it's this one. Sainsbury's plain old brown rice. Uh, and it's uh, £1.40 for a kilogram bag. And that does us quite a few meals, but they've got loads of different rices. There's some, just some really, really good, some like, uh, ready-made ones in bags that you can just microwave still got to check them but a lot of them are uh, clearly marked vegan which is kind of cool unfortunately a lot of the um, curry cooking sauces at uh, Sainsbury's seem to now be marked vegetarian whereas they used to be marked vegan however you come across something like that now and again from Patax plant-based uh, biryani meal kit serves to 225 and more patax vegan sauces plant-based korma and tikka masala and they're £1.90 pretty good and cheap selection of pastas too we always go for wholemeal pasta now Jason and I it uh, takes a bit longer to cook but it's uh, it's great and you know 500 grams Clearly the mouse vegan of course 70p you can't grumble I don't know what's going on in our Sainsbury's at the moment but there they would normally have the fishless tuna with chilli and garlic for a pound but it's just an empty shelf unfortunately uh, sat next to a load of dead fish so sort it out Sainsbury's fill that gap with kindness New to us, we haven't tried any of these yet, but they're only £1.20, so I'm not going to be stupid, I'm getting one. Plant Pioneers Vegan Mayo, that one's garlic, £1.20. They've got a sriracha one, spicy, and a nice plain one. Um, and that's, of course, mixed in with your Hellman's garlic mayon uh, mayonnaise in jar and a squirty bottle. Um, Follow Your Heart was up there it was with the, che from. the cheese uh, section on the meat aisle. Oh, right. Um, it's there. Right. So, but it's nice to see that Sainsbury's are doing their own there now. 
really good. And now you know what brand of mushy peas we have regularly. Even those of you that can't stand them. And that's why. Marvellous. And for those of you that don't have a lot of time or just want to grab something quick. Um, these tins, I know they're £1.50 but they're all clearly marked vegan. Moroccan style bean, tagine, lentil ragu, red Thai style curry. Uh, and then right next to it you've got the Prince's plant based which are a pound at the moment uh, the vegetable green curry, vegan and the lentil and mushroom bolognese also vegan, just for a pound ooh, chickpea dal as well is clearly marked vegan, Jeff mm. uh, and that's a pound like you said, chuck a bit of rice on the side or something berry veggie curry, is that one vegan? No, nope, that's vegetarian. But some of the things, it has to be said, some of the things that are marked vegetarian, when you check the ingredients, there's no dairy or anything in there. So by ingredient, they're vegan. Some of them, but you have to check. And then there's these plot nine. I know it's not plot 25, but still. Uh, plot nine, um, Thai style chickpea curry and a small chipotle bean chili. And you get this little pot with uh, rice for uh, £2.50. Where were them rices you pointed out before with the Sainsbury's on for 50p? Uh, yeah, they're on the other island. There's like a beef flavoured one, isn't there? Yeah. And, and a plain one. And All clear them out to vegan. So you could just grab a tin, grab a packet, warm it up, plate full of gorgeous vegan food. Hey, when all said and done, it cost a living going up. Yeah. You know. Are them, is that the vegan pie, the vegetable bolty, or is that just a... V That's just Vegetarian Society approved. Not vegan society approved. Right. But again, by ingredient, not that I'd get one because Frey Bentus pies are rank. Well, we tried one not so long back, didn't we? And we were <laughs> like, why? Why did we do this? But to try it, so we knew. Yeah. For definite. Uh, right, so let's head our way down to the freezers, shall we? Uh, oh, we didn't show jams, but tell everyone about the jams, Jay. Oh, the jams, the right good they are, the jams here. <laughs> Sainsbury's Taste the Difference jams, all clearly marked vegan, right nice they are. Onwards. <clears throat> Fancy a hot chocolate, Barbara, while you're wearing your nightie and watching Countdown. Um, £2.25, the new options, vegan, Belgian chocolate. We've had that one, haven't we, Jason? Yes. It, it was lovely. We've had them both. And next door, the Galaxy Vegan, which is uh, £3. So they are here on the kind of coffee, teal, tea, and other hot drinks aisle. Uh, but they're right there. They're clear them out to vegan. Get them in your gob. And now, this is the new freezer section. So all of this stuff used to be in, um, you know, a sit down freezer like this around the other side and then they've moved it all here now uh jason haven't you had that plant pioneers lasagna uh yeah although it looks massive for i know that, that looks like it'd do a family with a side salad i think i've had I, yeah i'm pretty sure i had that for a lunchtime taste test two pound but that looks huge haven't you had these as well i think i've pretty much had everything yeah he's had these lazy vegan ready meals they're really good because you basically Chuck it in a pan or, or microwave it and it's done, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, really simple. Um, and it doesn't turn to mush, to my memory, as well. Got to show you these. To us, they're some of the best meatballs on the market. They've been the same recipe for about five years, Jay. Probably. Um, they used to be Love Your Veg meatballs. Same uh, brand, it's Sainsbury's own. Uh, brand and uh, they're 175 and you get 18 in the bag so for us that's two meals they're fantastic and then you've got uh, two battered fishless fillets we've tried them they're gorgeous £2.50 chicken nuggets 175 no beef burgers 175 no chicken burgers 175 what's this Oh no, chicken chunks, 175. Uh, two ultimate plant burgers, two pound. Four no steak pies for two pound fifty. That's a bloody bargain, isn't it? It really is, yeah. Um, sausage rolls, 150. What's that back there? Indian inspired lentil 
quarter pounder with sweet potato chunks, spinach and green lentils. Yeah. 175. You've got to watch out for some of the Love Your Veg stuff. I think it's just the one thing. Well, they're marked vegan, aren't they? Yeah, but that's, it says, that's the only one you've got to watch out yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, it's, but it is, it, yeah. It's clearly it made. either says vegetarian, like this, or it very clearly says vegan. Yeah, the labelling's good. Um, and the vegan one's got the little leaf motif, whereas the vegetarian is just a V. Well spotted. I didn't even notice so, that. So, uh, Cumberland shroom dogs, mini sausage rolls, 175 and 225. And then we start moving on to uh, Linda Mac. Um, they're a bit of a bargain, Jay, at the moment. Yeah. 50p off. Linda McCartney is still some of the best pies on the market, we think. Mm -hmm. uh, shredded duck in a bag. Tomato and basil meatballs. Veggie mints. That's some. I haven't spotted any vegan mints in there. Sainsbury's own plant pioneers mints. No. It's not there, is it? No. Uh, the new vegetarian chicken roast. They've got all the kind of sausages and uh, southern style chicken. Uh, again, we love them. They're some of the best burgers you can get. The uh, vegan quarter pounders. 150 at the moment, but they've also got if it's your thing moving mountains Burgers they've got the dop no chicken pieces. We tried these recently didn't we we weren't massively keen on we, them. We weren't so keen No, um, texturally a little bit of slimy three pound, but you know each to their own Corn rosums 220 Corn vegan steak bakes two pound uh Sausage rolls, two pound, and takeaway crunchy fillet burger. Are they vegetarian or vegan? Tasty vegan. Is that just one burger for one fifty? Have a look. That's a bit pricey. It says burgers on the back, plural. Oh, does it? So there's two. It must be. Oh yeah, two. It says on the side. Two crunchy burgers. Uh, other corn stuff. Got vegan pieces next to the vegetarian pieces but the vegan ones clearly say vegan um, and the new range of stuff that they started doing the vegan fishless scampi two pound buffalo wings and southern fried wings tried both of them and they're quite nice actually yeah aren't they Jay? Uh, and then we've got a whole load of green cuisine stuff fishless fingers which were the uh, same price as they were in Iceland actually uh, sausage rolls, sausages, meatballs, burgers, dippers, nuggets. One of these, it's the veggie burgers, isn't it, Jason, that's not vegan? Yeah. I think. So. Yeah, I've got some stuff missing at the moment, but no doubt it'll, it'll be back in. Uh, but we've actually found most of this uh, green cuisine ring. Uh, green cuisine ring? <laughs> green, green cuisine range. Really palatable. Um, but there is one item, just the one, that isn't vegan. I think it's the vegetable burgers. So keep your eye out for that. I think you're right there, mister. And then finally, taste and glory and oomph. Richmond sausages, and so quite a good uh, vegan section in our in our Sainsbury's. I mentioned it before, but I'll always rave about this because I was blown away by it. You were, weren't you? Yeah, it's um, one pound forty, um, it, and it's clearly marked vegan on the yeah, side yeah. there. And that's one of the best ready meals, frozen ready meals, but spaghetti as well, it's one of the best you can get. I remember you coming home from work saying you'd really enjoyed it. Yeah, did really it, good. Did it in one of your lunchtime test tests, didn't you? I did. Uh, right, let's see if the vegan ice creams and pizzas have been sorted out now. Onward. Now, it has to be said, our CNC Sainsbury's still seems to be in a bit of a changeover period at the moment because everything's mixed in together, but there's the Goodfellas takeaway vegan chickenless. Uh, which looks like a really good size pizza for 225 
Is that a 12 inch? That must look decent, doesn't it? It's, it's a good size, that. Yeah. Isn't it? Um, where, where else did you see them, Jason? Oh, yeah. Fully loaded vegan deep dish cheeseburger pizzas. Um, unfortunately, no price that we can show you. I'm guessing they're probably going to say the price is these, but I can check. Yeah. But there they are. Um, that seems to be all they've got in on the vegan pizza range at the moment. Uh, I'm just having another quick look. Like, like we said, they are obviously still sorting out and things aren't... Oh, there's a good fella's uh, vegan stone baked falafel. There. So yeah, they seem to be kind of mixed in. Just everything's mixed in together. Um, but like we say, our, our Sainsbury's is having this change at the moment and getting all these new freezers. So we don't think it's quite as it should be yet. However, there we are. So yeah, the ice cream section uh, is, um, we think, so I'm not sure which of these ones are vegan, but on this shelf here, this seems to be where the vegan stuff is. So they've got Ben and Jerry's cookie dough. The, one of the best ice creams you can get still to this day, always has been, always will be, is this one. Swedish glacé, smooth vanilla. If you actually go to, which other supermarket is it that's got both the raspberry and the chocolate flavours of this in? It's either the co-op or Tesco. But anyway, £2.50 and it's gorgeous. And they've got your typical Cornettos, £2. Um, classic vegan uh, minis. Big lollies. Got, you know, a reasonable selection. Right. Oh, little moons, them of those that everyone's been raving about. I've not tried them, have we? No, one of them's vegan. Uh, but I'm not sure which one. It's the middle one. Yeah, it's no, that. They're, they're both vegan. The uh, the chocolate one's vegan, um, and the passion fruit and mango's vegan. Is it, so has anyone tried these? We've heard good things about them, but we've never had them. But it does say vegan friendly. Let us know in the comments if you've tried these and they're dead, they're dead nice. Because for a fiver, I'm a little bit like, Ugh. I know, I'm saying, I'm like, did you, well, how many did you get in there? Oh, six. Six for a fiver, so they're almost a quid each. Uh, not for me. Not for me. It's not for me, that. <laughs> Is that what you saw? I'm not sure, I'm just going to check. No, I can't, that's not it. That's not it. It might have been Jude's, because Jude's do vegan ice they do. as well, don't they? They do. Right. Yeah. Onward? Yeah. Right, that's it for us. Just a few bits. Back to the car. Still sanitising your hands when you come out to the supermarket? <laughs> we are. And wearing our masks. I think the hand sand thing is just going to become a fixture of life. I think I kind of like it. You know why? Because we're all gross. We are gross. In our own unique ways. I was thinking about it the other day, actually, when I was on the bus, because it's like I'm touching loads of things as I'm on the bus. Yeah. And I don't know who's touched them before. I don't know if they could have had their hand up their own bum. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, that was great. Yeah, we, we hope you found that helpful. Please don't be one of those people who says, you missed something. Because it's very annoying. We never profess to show you everything in a supermarket. It would be absolutely impossible yes. for us to do that. We just kind of try and show you a good range of stuff. A good selection. Because I, don't, I, I wouldn't ever want to show anybody anything, even if we had the time to do that, because then that takes away your own discoveries. When you're walking down an aisle and you spot someone and you think, oh, I've not seen that before. You've I love that. It'd be awful if people showed me. It. I wouldn't like it if people showed me everything. You've got, to, you've got to be able to enjoy your own unique adventure. Of course you have. And uh, as Paul said, like, and you know what? This is not a complaint. Um, if we were going to show you every single thing you could get in every supermarket that was vegan, 
for a start, the vlog would be about two and a half hours long, <laughs> and we'd be in there about three and a half hours. I'm fucking it, and you'd hate it. You say it's too long this vlog, it's right, you can't win. And you, you can't win. YouTube would YouTube. hate it as well. <laughs> you know. Anyway, um, so yeah, we we um, we skipped out the kind of wine and beer section, but again in Sainsbury's, very very well labelled, clearly labelled, um, almost always um, labelled on the back, isn't it? with the the beers and the and the wines and everything yeah um we didn't show you the long life milk section but it's pretty much like the chilled vegan milk section only not chilled um so yeah we hope that if you're kind of new to veganism or thinking about it we've shown you that there's a lot more than you probably thought there was available in uh, supermarkets and if you want to know what to do with all of that stuff watch our meals folks because we use all that stuff and make us dinners. Yeah. And then we upload every Tuesday, previous seven nights dinners. We're very consistent uh, with particularly our meals vlogs and our allotment vlogs. So yes. if you are, by some miracle, new to the channel, and you've just literally this very day discovered this Sainsbury's vlog, then first and foremost, please do consider giving the video a thumbs up, a like. Uh, that helps tremendously. Um, you're still here at right at the end of the vlog, which is brilliant because that's great watch time for us. So thank you for that. Yeah, hugely appreciate it. A comment would be gorgeous. As he said, a subscription and click the little notification bell to find out everything about us. All that stuff. Love you, mister. Love you. Love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. We will see you again soon, hopefully. And until then, please be excellent to yourselves and eat your... <laughs> Bye, loves. Now go away so I can put my Barbra Streisand back on for the drive home. She'll copyright me. Oh, bugger, she is.